You remember the red brick redo that we started a little while ago? It's all very spare right now. What's the look I'm you're going, going to say for? Spare, you're very kind and generous. It's okay. more empty and lonely. Okay. Well, it's not empty anymore. It's install day. These are the days we get super excited about. So stick around because it's going to get exciting. We are still trying to pull off a Christmas miracle. Oh my gosh. This is my favorite one. <gasps> do come in. Please do come in because we've had so many deliveries. Okay, the mud room, it's a total disaster right now. Let's look at the living room. In the living room. Ooh, okay, things are starting to happen. In here, we're gonna do two seating areas. We have two rugs because this room is so massive. So we're going to do a table and chairs over here. On this side, we are going to do big sofa, side tables, great lighting, comfy chairs. You're thinking, where are the comfy chairs, Sarah? You're right, there are no comfy chairs here because they're coming tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. We actually staggered this delivery process, which is, here's a tip for you. If you can, don't have everything show up all at once. Stagger it in two loads and that way, you can process it. So we're getting rugs down today. We're doing under pads, rugs, and all of our case good furniture. So that's all the wood stuff. Okay, so now let's go this way. Look at this mural. Okay, I am so in love with this mural. Do you love this mural like I love this mural? It's incredible. This came from Rebel Walls. It's a UK based company. And what you see is an evergreen tree through the window which also translates to these evergreen trees that are drawn on the mural. This brings this kitchen to life. The kitchen is a total disaster right now. I'm gonna show you something that doesn't look so bad. Come with me. Dining room in progress. We installed this gorgeous wallpaper. It's called La Mig Fox. And what's so great about it is this is a traditional pattern, but it's been reinterpreted in just two colorways. So it's a creamy white background with pale gray, which I think helps it translate and hit that mix between the traditional envelope that we had and the slightly more contemporary vibe that we want to get to. So this is our treading the line. If you're looking to create a uh, an eclectic mix in a room, think about how you can find elements that reference the past, but feel like they are rooted in today. We ordered two tables here. So these are actually two round tables and we are making them into pedestal bases. And then we have a big tabletop coming. Imagine a big gathering tabletop coming here. Gorgeous sconces, the most amazing chandelier is gonna go up. Don't you wanna gather in this space? Do you wanna come and have dinner with me? Cause I wanna have dinner here when that's allowed. Okay, after our first tour, a number of you commented and said, is there a powder room, Sarah? Yes, there is. The powder room is getting a glamorous makeover. Look at this wallpaper. It's so super cool because it looks like it's painted, but it also has texture. And if there's anywhere to have fun, get jazzy, be bold, it's the powder room. And now back through the kitchen. Yes, please still admire the mess, the disaster. Okay, Shannon is mid-assembly in here, and this is the family room, and the family room is about to get seriously cozy. Our inspiration point in the family room is the concrete clad fireplace. We are taking everything from this fireplace, and it's all gonna be shades of charcoal and cement, and you might say, but Elizabeth said she wanted it to feel warm. I guarantee by the time we're done, it's gonna be feeling super warm nubbly wool rug underfoot, soft textures. We've got chenille, we've got velvet. We're installing the TV on the wall. We're gonna have storage for kids' games. We're adding window coverings throughout every single room in this house, which is also gonna add a really important layer of softness and also privacy. Okay, wanna see upstairs? Our stairs are in the process of being painted. We're transitioning to a dark color for the spindles and the handrail and a mid-tone color is gonna go on the tread. But it's hard to do this and get it painted when <laughs> furniture is coming and going. And that's happening a lot. Okay, let's go back here. The kids' bathroom is getting a new vanity. And 
I'm super excited about this. This is a company you may recognize. I have worked with this company before. It's called Design Market. And I used one of these at the cottage because the best thing is they're stocked in a warehouse. They're ready to go. They come with a vanity base and a countertop and sinks all ready to go and be dropped in place. So if you're on a tight timeline as we are, you can literally call and pick it up in a couple of days. And I just thought we should add a little oomph. So we're making this bathroom. Remember what this bathroom was like last time I was here? Not so chic. We're putting in some fabulous fun sconces, great mirrors, fun artwork, and we are gonna up the fun factor because this house needs to be fun. This is the mum zone back here. This is our client's bedroom. Oh boy. We've got some furniture. The mattress is no longer up against the wall. We are gonna have a desk area here. We're gonna have a sitting area. We, you may be looking at this saying, Sarah, why is the bed in front of the window? Well, because this is the best place for it. So we're gonna pull it out a little bit from the window. And then my idea is these feel kind of low to me, considering the ceiling height throughout this house. So we are gonna trick this out and I'm gonna share a really fun trick with you. We have made custom made Roman blinds that we are gonna hang on the ceiling so that they can be dropped and they will cover this trim. So it will visually make it seem like the windows are taller, plus it will allow you to appreciate the fabric. And we are putting up the most glorious wallpaper in here. I don't know when that's happening, but wallpaper installs happening in another room right now, so happening soon. Uh, nothing much has happened in the principal bath right now, so we'll talk about that later. Okay, in here, hopping over boxes. This used to be Sam's room. This used to be the son's room. And in this room, you can see this is a polka dot design, and it looks and feels like clouds. And I think this is going to be a terrific effect for this room. In this guest room, we're making not one, but two guest rooms in this house. And this is all going to be light and airy and cloud-like, monochromatic, cream and gray. Because we have a whole heap and helping of color happening in a lot of other spaces. Sam is moving from that room into this room, which used to be Gemma's room. And I don't know why, but somebody just put this blue sheet on here, and this is not sick. That's, that's coming off, okay? So Sam's room is getting, ah, oh, this is so exciting. If you were a nine-year-old boy, would you think this is fun? This is map wallpaper. So this whole room is going to get black and white photographs, charcoal and cream wallpaper, really fun black bedside lamps. But I think that wallpaper is awesome. Next, let's go see Gemma's room. This used to be the playroom and now this is underway becoming a teenage girl's bedroom. So this is gonna have beautiful wallpaper, pale blue. She wanted to have pale blue, mint, and peach. And we're really trying to focus in every single room on getting lots of storage. So we have a dresser, we have bedside tables, we've got storage happening in the closet, it's all good. In this upper hallway, we wanna make the most of the space because it's always been really wasted space. So we're gonna have a lounge seating area here. We might even put a desk on one of these walls because we have room for it. And then this room, oh, this color is amazing. We are just embarking on assembling a bed. This is a brand new bed from Ikea that I am super excited about. It looks really gorgeous in this smoky blue tone that goes with all the blues that are in this carpet. And on these walls, we are doing a super duper dynamite, awesome wallpaper that is like an Asian inspired wall. Look at this. Oh, upside down. So this is the vibe of what is happening here. What do you think? Do you like it? How are we doing so far? Yeah, you like it? We're doing well? Okay, well, I can't show you anymore because I gotta get to work. Stay tuned. Stuff is happening. All of that is coming in here. We have a truck full of upholstered furniture. So while we're waiting for them to unbox it all, I'm gonna start ripping open boxes. This is the fixture we ordered for the front hall. Never seen it. Okay, come on. Out of here. Okay, this is here. 
expressions, Elizabeth. I love it, and I think it's very interesting. <laughs> interesting, yeah, you're like, I don't know what I'm looking at. So if I'm not mistaken, it's like, these oh. balls go on here, and then there's a cover, and it looks like we can choose whether we want. No, I think gold is the side. A lot is happening in every different room. We have one person working in each space, and that is a good thing. Oh, I'm gonna go gold. Yeah? Yeah, do you agree? Uh, yeah, I think so. The race is on, the heat is on. We are still trying to pull off a Christmas miracle. What do you think, Shannon? Is it fun? I think it's really fun. Yeah, this looks appropriate for this room. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, so you approve? It's always good to make sure your electrician approves of your design choices, don't you think? Yeah, for sure. So the heat is on and we're hustling and bustling and I am headed to the hardware store to buy some grout because nobody who's doing an important job is allowed to leave right now. So we're gonna keep the tilers tiling, we're gonna keep the wallpaper hangers hanging wallpaper, we're gonna keep Charlotte running all over the place and I am going out to the store. That looks really nice. Here's a question. Have you ever tried to sort out somebody else's linen cupboard? Yeah, that's what Melissa is doing right now. She's trying to make heads or tails of what sort of bedding we have. Because we have five bedrooms and we have six beds and they all need to be beautifully made. I'm not seeing anything coming out of that closet that looks like what I want to put back on these beds. <laughs> Okay, behind this door is going to be Gemma's room. This used to be the playroom, and now, this is the progress happening in here. Look, look, behold this gorgeous wallpaper. Triangles and squares with just the lightest glint of kind of a champagne silver. So I think this is fun, this is whimsical, it's not too childlike, it's not too grown up. I think it has personality. I think it's really perking up the room. I love the way it's looking with the rug. And then, because we have the smaller window behind the bed, we're going to do extra wide window coverings. So it all gets framed up. We get a layer of softness in behind the headboard and it'll all look like it's meant to be that way instead of looking like we're blocking the window. Okay, you buying that? You wanna see what's happening over in this room? Look at these, these are our Roman blinds. So these are going up in here. They're just gonna nestle right inside the window frame and they're gonna look so crisp. And this is a favorite fabric. I don't know if you'll recognize this, okay. Hands up if you recognize this fabric. Minister of Exteriors, do you recognize this fabric? You're asking me, and I know this is skill testing because I should know where it was. Does it look familiar? So I answer the question, yes, I recognize it. I'm just trying to place where. So this is the fabric that is on the backs of our dining room chairs at the cottage, but in a different colorway. Ah, yeah, because it's more blue at the cottage. Green, uh, orange, <laughs> yellow. It's another color. It's natural. It's, na it's, it's natural. It's natural, yeah. So it has kind of a stamp texture, which I love and that feels like the softness that we see in this printing on the wallpaper. Today hasn't gone totally as planned. We've had some delays and some challenges, but can we just talk about how exciting this is? You may not realize how exciting this is, but I am thrilled to see this light fixture up because this is designed by Thomas O'Brien for circle lighting. I have been a huge fan of this fixture since I first saw it in High Point, North Carolina at the showroom with Thomas when he was launching it. And I thought it was brilliant. It's so creative. My client wanted the house to have some sort of a nod to the fact that we're close to the water, but we were not gonna do themey coastal motifs here. I don't know, there's something about this that makes me think of the lens on a lighthouse. I don't think the reference is over. That might not have even been Thomas's inspiration. But this is a really proud moment for me because I have a light fixture designed by a friend hanging in a project for a client. 
and I think it's going to be amazing and it's going to be a conversation piece and it's going to be the anchor for the ambiance in this room and it's going to look awesome. So Sarah, why don't you stop talking and finish getting it installed. We have a gorgeous table. You're going to have to wait to really see it till tomorrow. Look at this. It's nine feet long. I'm super excited about this. This, this is good. Okay? Worth the wait. Today, it's Thursday. And that means we have today to get ready for tomorrow, which is the day the kids are going to come and see this house transformed for the first time. And we still have a long way to go, but there is a light at the end of the tunnel. Today, we have two wallpaper teams in two different rooms making magic. How's it going out there, Michael? It's just great. There are a lot of spaces in this house, so we need all hands on deck. It is finished. Well done. I'm practicing for Christmas morning. Full pillow. You can't come over yet because your room's not done. It's Friday, this is it, this is our last day. We have less than five hours to finish and get out of here. Right here, this is our IKEA delivery. Team lift. Let's see what they have. It's like Santa's sleigh has just arrived. Or it is the kind of sleigh I like. And coming up for Christmas, we have <laughs> sheets. Thank you. Oh, lights. Oh, a light and a bathrobe. More pillows for sweet dreams. And to ensure we have sweet dreams through the holidays, we have two new mattresses being delivered. Okay. I just want to know, am I hired? <laughs> We've been scurrying like a team of busy elves to get this entire home done and redecorated in time for the family to enjoy for the holidays. They've just returned from cutting down a Christmas tree, but before they get on to decorating their tree, we're gonna let them see what we've been up to. Do you wanna take a look around? Whoa, oh my gosh, it's so cozy in here. There's still a little bit more to do as you can see, because there's a couple of things on the floor, but. The kids have not seen any part of the process. This tree wow. is in the... It's a beautiful mural. It's so detailed. So this is all a surprise. Let's see what they think. I want this room. You want this room? <laughs> I like the wallpaper and the bed and the desk. Beautiful, isn't it? Oh my gosh. This is my favorite one. <gasps> Oh my mm. gosh. Isn't this amazing? It is. So beautiful. But so wait, we... there's still more. I love the wallpaper. What do you see in the wallpaper? Clouds. Well, I think you get the picture. Wow. And I think this family is going to be really happy with their new home for Christmas. And now that my work here is done, it's time to get on to decorating at Starlight Farm. Want to see the full reveal of this transformed home? You'll have to come back next episode to see what these Whoa. rooms look like. Nicely measured, team. In the meantime, have a very, very happy, very safe holiday.